Good morning and welcome to our Memorial Day service today. With the social distancing in place to slow down the COVID-19 pandemic, the Crookston Veterans Council made the extremely difficult decision to do a radio program this year. It's important that we keep our attendees and our patriots safe. We thank KROX for allowing us airtime to honor our Americans' heroes this Memorial Day. To begin today, I call on Chaplain Bill Cassavant for our Memorial Day prayer. Loving God, have mercy on your people and open our hearts to peace and love. Reward all who have died for their country and grant that all nations may continue to work for peace and justice. Bless us in your service and help us to follow in your path. Amen. I call on Elaine Metzger to read In Flanders Field. In Flanders Field the poppies grow, between the crosses row and row, that mark our place while in the sky the larks still bravely singing fly. Unheard amid the guns below, we are the dead short days ago. We lived, felt dawns, saw sunsets glow, loved and were loved, but now we lie in Flanders Field. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you from falling hands we throw. The torch be yours to bear it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep though poppies blow in Flanders Field. I call on Jean Lajes to read the reply to Flanders Field. The answer. In Flanders Field the cannons boom, and fitful flashes light the gloom. While up above, like eagles fly, the fierce destroyers of the sky. With stains, the earth wherein you lie is redder than the poppy bloom in Flanders Field. Sleep on, ye brave, the shrieking shell, the quaking trench, the startling yell. The fury of the battle hell shall wake you not, for all is well. Sleep peacefully, for all is well. Your flaming torch aloft we bear, with burning heart, an oath we swear, to keep the faith, to fight it through, to crush the foe, or sleep with you in Flanders Field. I call on Jamie Cassavant, Sharon Langto, Margie Keller for an introduction before our honor service. On Memorial Day this year, how we honor the men and women who have lost their lives defending America since the Revolutionary War is different due to safety concerns. But the most important thing is that we honor those who gave us our freedom. Despite COVID-19, Memorial Day must remain a day of reflection and remembrance of those who died while serving in the U.S. military and their families. It is essential to remember and to renew the legacy of Memorial Day as we face the challenge of this pandemic and dedicate ourselves to the values and principles for which those heroes died. Every crisis has new heroes. During the 9-11 attacks, our heroes were the first responders running into burning and crumbling buildings as others ran out and our military who stepped up to protect our freedom again. Now, during this pandemic, the most visible heroes are the health care workers, our first responders, military, and all who are working to keep America safe and healthy, and who are risking their own lives while doing so. These heroes have much in common with the people that we honor today, America's fallen veterans. They are men and women who have sacrificed their own lives so others could live. This Memorial Day, as we continue to honor those who fell for us in battle, let us pause to remember those who have also sacrificed their lives while serving others during this time. May God bless them, and may God bless you for remembering them here today. We will now begin our Memorial Day program. As long as two comrades survive, so long will the Veterans Council of Crookston render tribute to our heroic dead. I call on Officer of the Day, Jim Ernest, for a reading. We are assembled here today to express our sincere reverence 
We honor the resting places that we traditionally visit at Hupslow, Gently, Oakdale, and Sand Hill Cemeteries, and our many departed comrades who have served in all wars. Our presence here today is in solemn remembrance of all the men and women who have served our country. I invite all listening today to share in a moment of silence with us to honor our comrades, their families, and auxiliary members. Veterans of our community, families, and friends, officers and members of the Veterans Council of Crookston, we will now pay our respects to our departed comrades, brothers and sisters of the auxiliary. I call on Senior Vice Commander Paul DeBute. The Crookston Veterans Council has placed patriotic flowers as our symbol of remembrance at Hafslow, Gently, Oakdale, and Sand Hill Cemeteries, as well as the Samson's Bridge and Memorial Walkway. I call on Junior Vice Commander Kurt Ellison. By doing so, we offer our solemn tribute to all the comrades wherever they may rest. Their devotion and dedication to our country is a debt that we as citizens can never repay. We live in a free nation flying the flag of that freedom paid for by our military. I call on Officer of the Day, Jim Ernest. In memory of the heroic dead who have fallen in defense of the United States of America, we have placed an American flag as our tribute to our devotion and everlasting remembrance. The flag of our country was theirs to defend. Its glorious colors shall wave over them in death, as in life, for everyone to behold. Madam President of the Veterans Council Auxiliary, Rhonda Phelan, do you have a tribute to give? On behalf of the VFW Auxiliary, American Legion Auxiliary, Disabled American Veterans Auxiliary, and Beyond the Yellow Ribbon of Crookston, yellow tulips honoring our deceased brothers and sisters and a Memorial Day card were placed as part of each bouquet at the cemeteries. In doing so, we immortalize the brave deeds of our soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines who have given the ultimate sacrifice on land, sea, and in the air. I call on our Chaplain Bill Cassavant for a blessing. Today we quietly pause to remember those who gave their lives that we might be free. We honor the families of the fallen today as well. We pray for our Gold Star families and friends. We pray that they too have all they need each day. Give them the faith they need for each day until they see their loved one again. Amen. Comrades, the Veterans Council of Crookston is sincerely grateful for your service. Your service comes with many sacrifices, and we thank you and your family and each and every day. Words are not enough to express the gratitude we hold in your hearts. We will now play TAPS. <laughs> 